So I have these two kilns, the little one in the back that's on the table there and the big one up front here. Uh, now the one in the front works with cones for temperature regulation. Uh, it, it's a pretty simple system. It re keeps heating the kiln until it reaches a certain temperature and the cone uh, distorts its shape. It's inside the kiln and it deforms and then it uh, shuts it off just by shutting a switch when it does that. Uh, so you don't have, really have great control over the temperature. You can't sustain it once it comes up to there. It just it, want, it heats up and it takes time to cool back down. So basically it hits that temp and then shuts off. Uh, the little one here doesn't have any kind of temperature control. It was completely manual. Uh, so I just finished building this system. Uh, this has a, a pair of uh, Rex C100 controllers in it. And uh, I'll show a quick insert of the inside as I was building it here. So what I've got, these are the temperature sensors. Uh, they're uh, K-type thermal couples. There's two in the kiln. I can just pull these out and put them in the other kiln if I need to. Uh, so the little kiln just has a pair of 110 plugs. Uh, they're 110 each and they draw 12 amps each. Uh, so really to plug them in the outlet anyway, was a, if you're running both of them, is a little bit of an overload. <clears throat> So I set this up, it runs on 220, uh, use 220 outlet here, which is my welder outlet. And uh, so th there's two controllers, and what it is is one is for the top element, one is for the bottom element, and these outlets are split, so the controller, uh, top controller does the top outlet, the bottom controller does the bottom one, and the elements, the uh, K-type, Thermocouples are arranged in the same water. And down here, the 220 outlet, uh, it's the same idea because I found out that on the big kiln, uh, each half of this, the upper and lower element, there are actually 110 elements. They just took one side of the one of the 220, one operated the upper one, the other half of the 220 operated the lower one. Uh, so I can operate them independently just through the power that I feed through it. Uh, so these controllers, this is split actually between the top and the bottom. It's actually 220 here. It's 110 to ground on that, 110 to ground on that, but they're on opposite sides. Uh, and on here, it's just one of them goes to the, uh, the right. I believe this one goes to the one on the right. Uh, and the one on top goes to the left. So you've got 220 across the two of them and 110 from there to there. And I've uh, got these, they're switched independently of each other. Uh, so they're not necessarily on at the same time. So if the upper element is calling for heat, it'll put power here. If the lower element is calling for heat, it'll put power to that one. Uh, and I don't have to mess with anything further in the kiln and it's all automatic. So I just set that for whatever I want to operate it at and uh, it'll go there, it'll hold it until I change the temperature. Uh, right now I've just got it at a very low temperature. I'm, uh, I've got something in here, it's a, actually pottery that's in there and uh, I'm speed drying it to get all the water out before I do a hard firing on it. Because if you fire them all at once, uh, if they're still damp, they can literally explode in there. So I'm bringing this up to temperature for firing now. This is the final test and actual usage at this point. It's quite hot in there. Still got another 200 degrees Celsius to go. Those readings are in Celsius, by the way. So 
So anyways, uh, that's this little project. Uh, I'm not going to show a whole how-to on it, but, uh, you know, if you look in the, uh, the that photo of the back with the wiring, you, you probably can figure it out. It's pretty simple anyways. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you've made it this far, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and found it entertaining or educational. If so, please consider hitting like or subscribe. It does help give me incentive to continue producing more. Thank you.